In this clip, I'm going to show you the very last step of sewing the shorts, and the very last step is hemming. So after you have pressed up twice, and you have a nice folded edge there, and you've pinned all the way around both legs, then you can do um, a straight stitch all the way around. So what you're going to do, you're going to place, just like what you did for your um, casing, you're going to place the bottom layer of your shorts underneath the machine, making sure your accessory box is off, and then you're going to place the top layer underneath the presser foot. Make sure your machine is on straight stitch. Um, you're going to line up the edge of the presser foot with the edge of the fabric here, and we're going to make sure that your needle is over to the left. Again, you want to stitch nice and close to this edge here, not this edge over here. So nice and close to the top edge, the edge closest to your um, waistband. Doesn't matter where you start. You're going to go forward three stitches back three stitches, and then you're going to continue to sew all the way around. And as you continue to sew all the way around, you're going to make sure that you I think it's caught there, so let me just cut that. Sometimes the tails of your threads when you start get caught. Okay, there we go, we've loosened that off. So you're gonna stitch all the way around, keeping your uh, one hand just underneath. Okay, to ensure that you're not sewing both layers together. You wanna be able to put your leg through when you've completed sewing. Now, unlike the waist, Band, you don't need to, or unlike your um, waistband casing, you don't need to leave a hole. You will not be inserting any elastic in the hem. So you're going to continue to sew all the way around until you get to your original stitching. So you can see here's my original stitching, the threads indicating where I started. And just like how when you were sewing up the hole on your waistband casing, you're going to try to overlap these threads just slightly. Okay, two, three, four stitches. Use your hand wheel to control so that you stitch right on top of the original stitches. And then it looks like you went smoothly around. Okay, so after you've overlapped about three stitches, you can stop, snip your threads. You're going to do exactly the same thing on your other, on the other side. And then once you have both sides sewn, you should be able to flip them inside out. Now I haven't sewn the other side yet but flip them inside out and if you have any extra threads your last step is just to trim off your threads so your garment looks nicely polished and finished. Congratulations you've just finished your shorts.